Hello friends, this video on electrostatic potential part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 7 before going ahead with part 8. Now let us have a look at potential difference. Like how we studied about potential energy and potential energy difference. Similarly, we have potential and potential difference. So both these things are very easily comparable. So how will we define potential difference? Just think of the way you defined potential energy difference. It goes in the same lines. So even in this case, we say that, so when we talk about defining potential difference, we define it as work done per unit charge in bringing the charge from one point to another against electrostatic force. It is similar to potential energy difference, right? The only difference is here you have work done per unit charge. So if you see it is very similar, I mean potential energy and potential are very similar. When we talk about potential energy, potential energy and potential both are the same thing just that when we talk of potential, it is per unit charge. Similarly, when I talk about potential energy difference and potential difference, both are the same thing except that potential difference talks about per unit charge. Right? So, potential difference or potential always talks about a unit charge. So, as I mentioned in case of potential energy difference also, so the amount of work which we do to bring this object from one point to another, here in this case, from this point to this point, we are doing some work to bring it from here till here. So, this work done is nothing but the potential difference between the starting point and the ending point. Now let us uh, try to express potential difference mathematically. Let us suppose this is a point charge say plus Q. Suppose we have a small test charge which is at some point B. And let us suppose that we are bringing this point from B to this point which is A. Right? So, the amount of work which we did to bring it from B to A is known as potential difference. So, we will calculate potential difference now. Let us suppose that the distance of this point A from Q is Ra and the distance of point from this charge plus Q is Rb. Okay. We always measure the distances of the points from this point charge. I mean we treat this point charge as the origin. The source charge is treated as origin. So this is Ra and this is Rb. So we have to calculate potential difference. And potential difference is nothing but work done per unit charge. So we have to calculate the work done to come from point B to point A. So let us first consider a small distance dx. So first we will calculate the total, to the work done to cover this much distance. Once we calculate that, then we will integrate it over this entire distance. Okay. So let us suppose that this small dx is taken, the small element is taken at a distance x from the source charge. So what is the small amount of work that is involved to move the charge through this dx? So that will be nothing but f dot dx. So that will be equal to f dx cos theta. So theta again is equal to 180 degree. I already told you why. Because the force will act along this direction. Whereas you are doing some work along this direction. So the displacement takes place in this direction. So displacement and force are opposite to each other. Therefore this becomes minus F dx. Now what is this force? This force is because of the electric field. So this will be equal to minus E into Q0. This is the magnitude of the test charge. Then to dx. Therefore dW is equal to minus E Q0 dx. Now by definition we know that potential difference is nothing but so the small potential difference associated with this is equal to work done per unit charge. So that is equal to minus E 
dx. Therefore, when we calculate the potential difference, it is integration of dv. So, this is integration of minus e dx. So, x will change from first initial point is point b. So, what is the position of point b? It is rb. So, x will change from rb to ra. Right? So, this will be equal to what is e? Electric field e due to this point charge is nothing but kq divided by x square. Right? Because we are trying to calculate the electric field at this point where we are considering dx. So, this into dx. So, this is from Rb to Ra. So, this is equal to minus Kq into minus 1 by x. Rb to Ra. So, V is equal to Kq into 1 by Ra minus 1 by Rb. So, this is the potential difference between point A and B. Now, if you look at the expression for potential, we found that the expression for potential was Kq by R. If you look at this, the first term is Kq by Ra, that is the potential at point A. And the second term is Kq by Rb, that is the potential at B. So, the difference between the potentials of A and B gives the potential difference. Now, normally, I mean, normally in your textbooks also you will see that potential and potential difference. Since they are very closely related, most of the times we denote both of them by capital V. So, whether it is potential or it is potential difference, we generally denote them by capital V. So, do not get confused. It, they are two different concepts, but they are very closely related. Right? So, I hope you understood what is potential difference. Now, let us have a quick review of potential and potential difference. So, quickly remember, what is potential? Potential is work done per unit charge to bring it from infinity to a particular point. So, if this is your charge, when you bring it from infinity to a particular point, then that is potential. When you bring it from one point to another point, then that is potential difference. Right? So, when you are bringing it from this point to this point, for example, just now you saw it went from this point to this point. So, that, that work done was nothing but potential difference. I am sorry, work done per unit charge. That was potential difference. When the same charge will come from some infinity to a particular point, that will be known as potential. Right? Now, it is potential difference that is physically significant. Why is it so? That is because when we talk about work done, right? When we talk about work done, we say work done is equal to potential difference, right? So, basically, let us suppose if I call this as point B, if I call this as point A. So, what is the work done? It is potential at point A. Let us suppose it goes from B to A. So, potential at A minus potential at B. So, this is your work done. So, what is this? This is the potential difference, right? Now, let us suppose if I increase or decrease the potential by some amount. Let us suppose if I uh, decrease the potential A at A by 5 units. And I also decrease the potential at point B by 5 units. So, what happens? Your work done still remains the same, right? So, adding or subtracting some value from the potentials at both the points doesn't make any difference to the work done. So, even if your potential increases or decreases, your potential difference still remains the same. Provided the increase or decrease is same at, the both, at both the points, right? So, that means work done basically depends upon the difference of potential and not upon the individual potential. That is why we say that in terms of physics, potential difference has more significance than potential. Both potential and potential difference share same units, that is volt. Potential is taken as zero at infinity. As I told you, this is a standard con convention which we follow that the potential of any object at infinity is zero. 
right so i think that was all about potential and potential difference knowing all these things i think it will be easier for you to go and solve numericals as well however before we proceed to numericals we will look at certain more expressions of potential due to different kind of charge distribution like one we saw that is the potential due to a point charge thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again